I decided I'm going to record myself and just, you know, put it on YouTube because I've noticed that there's just some times where like I go on Instagram and I will post and post and post like videos, like just me. And nobody listening, nobody responding, nobody doing nothing. So I'm just like, you know what? And then it gets to a point where like people don't even look at my shit anymore. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna do it on YouTube. Because YouTube, I know you guys either pay attention or don't. I don't know actually, that's why I like YouTube because I don't know. I, I mean, I only know by like, you know, analytics that the, the YouTube studio gives me and stuff, but like that's it. So, get to the point, right? <sighs> yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's just been a very like, you know what? We're gonna do a little kind of mukbang. I don't even know. Oh, I got a text. I was like, what the fuck? I thought I like I saw the side on my thing. What the fuck? No, bitch. Um. Yeah. So. I guess you could call it a mukbang. I don't know. Um, this is... Hmm. I'm almost done. Eggs with onion and tomato. Queso fresco. Crema. And some bolillo. Um, mm. It's got avocado too. Um, so... The reason why I'm here is because I want you guys to like, I guess, get to know me a little bit, maybe. Um, I'm sorry I don't look good. Mm. It's hard because YouTube is like, I don't have to look good, but at the same time, in order for me to get more views. Gotta look presentable. So I'm just like, God damn it. Can I be real? Or should I be presentable? <laughs> what the fuck? So, I'm gonna do both. Be real in others. Be presentable in the others. Fuck. Y'all let me know how you, what you think about it. Anyway, <laughs> I've been talking for two and a half minutes and I haven't said shit. Okay. The reason why I am here is because I feel like I haven't actually, like, discussed my food journey with you guys um and i want you guys to know my food journey because um it's i think i actually don't know everybody's food journey but every everybody's food journey that i heard of it's always been like traumatic and bad and like mine is literally the same fucking thing so like you know growing up i always wanted to learn how to cook and stuff but like my family wouldn't let me because they'd be like oh um you don't know how to cook i'd be like obviously i don't know how to fucking cook you guys haven't taught me and um you know grow like pretty much until i, I like moved out like they don't let me cook at all like they did not let me cook like my family did not let me cook oh my god it was fucking crazy like if there were times i did cook like they allowed me in the yeah i'm on my knees they allowed me on in the kitchen and stuff but i wasn't allowed to it was ever it was ever since i was a kid then i uh my mom i was learning how to make tortillas and like my mom she was at work my brother was taking care of me one day I was in the kitchen by myself. I was trying to learn how to make tor 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 tortillas. Fucking put the pan on and everything. Dude, I burned the fucking kitchen. It was crazy. It was crazy. I burned the kitchen. Since then, like, my, like my mom was like, stay away from the fucking kitchen. No. Nah. She's like, if you want to learn how to cook, look at me. Just watch me. Just watch me. I'd be like, okay. Or she wouldn't tell me when she's cooking. And then I'd be in the kitchen and I'd be like, you're cooking i'd be like oh my god like what are you doing i want to learn she'd be like just watch bitch you are already 75 percent in 
What the fuck am I supposed to watch? You boiling some shit? Like, I don't fucking know. So, <clears throat> yeah. And, um, you see, I've never had a, the only problem I have with my body is that I'm really skinny. I hate how skinny I am. But it's not like, oh, excuse me. It's not like anorexia or anything, actually. It's, um, it's depression. I've been through a lot of shit in my family. Um, and even outside of my family, like when I tried escaping my family and everything, it followed me, whether that be mentally or physically. And when, ever since I was a kid, just any time I felt any type of way, I just wasn't hungry. I just didn't want to eat. I just, I just wouldn't eat. Like, I couldn't. And so, like, I guess this followed me growing up, you know? It's still affecting me. Like, oh. Look, can you see how skinny I am? Like, look at that. I am so, you can't even see, I actually look pretty thick in this shit. But I'm not thick, I'm very skinny. Like, can you see my bones? I need you guys to see my bones. Look at this, look at that bone, bone. I am, there you go, now you can see how skinny I am. Yeah, okay, I'm fucking skinny. Um. It's still following me, unfortunately. And um, the reason why I'm making this is because, one, I need to finish this. Um, I have this, this like thing where like, sometimes I like wake up and I'm like, oh shit, I need to start eating. I need to start working out. <coughs> oh my God, I am so sorry. Oh. Checking all my beans. Checking all my beans just to make sure <laughs> the thing was hot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright. Um I need to put more water in that. Bitch. This is hot. This isn't even the beans. This is water. This is boiled water, so I can put in the beans that are boiling for if they, if they need more water. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking hot because it's all steel. Una, dos, tres. Okay, so where was I? Um, yeah, I, uh, oof. yeah, I, I really, uh, yeah, so like for like a good four months, I'll be like, oh shit, like I'm eating, like I'm eating good, like I'll eat freaking five times a day, I'll drink my smoothie, I'll work out. And then one day I'll just be like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I'll stop. My consistency with this shit is so bad, bro. Like my consistency with eating and just food. Right now, this is the most I'm eating in like months. Like I'm trying to finish my plate because... I never finish it or leave it on the side, finish it later. And even then, I'll leave it on the side, I'll eat half of it, finish it later. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I also, oh my God, Travis, bro. You just subscribed to me. I literally just saw the notification pop up. When? Thank you. Appreciate you, sir. I appreciate Anthony, too. Leanios. That followed me. I saw your notification, too, sir. Thank you so much, guys. But, um. You look at the Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been through some shit, but I mean, who hasn't, right? Everybody has their own, their own, um, 
traumatic instance in their life or maybe not because I have genuinely met people that have been like no actually that has never happened to me and actually I've been happy my entire life like no my family's always been cool with me bitch excuse me I would love to relate to you bitch but um that was a nip slip let me try to edit that. I don't know if it slipped out. But, uh. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna keep you on till I finish this. Because, uh. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Hmm. Hmm? I'm gonna try to finish the whole avocado soup. The half. Look, I'm having this one here. I'm trying to, uh, finish the whole motherfucking thing. Um, yeah. I appreciate you guys trying to get to know me, too, because, or even having an interest to be like, oh, this is who she is? Let me click on it real quick. Find out. <clears throat> Fuck around and find out. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Um, I know it wasn't really a mukbang. I mean, it kind of was. I made the food. I didn't buy it, but I still ate and spoke. So that's a mukbang. You know what I'm saying? So also super random, but I was yesterday. Yesterday. I was on YouTube and I saw this um uh, people these people were doing this no actually Yasmin I saw it on your page first Yasmin I saw it on your page first Yasmin I saw the spicy noodle challenge and I was like then I like you know started like looking it up and I was like bitch I seen these uh these Asian women Oh my God, they ate 10 of them, 10 of them. And then the the lady before, she was like, before like the video started, she was like, okay, I tried doing this before by myself, but I couldn't do it. So I brought my sister with me this time. Bitch, her sister, oh my God. Bitch, her sister helped her. Like, like I'm not even kidding with you. Her sister like came through bro like that shit was crazy that shit was so beautiful so like i was thinking like should i do a, a spicy noodle challenge because everybody, everybody like saying like it's so spicy it's so spicy i personally haven't tried it and i like spicy i always be making my salsas i always be spicy it up you know what i'm saying but yeah oh, yeah, 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 yeah eating this is hard okay I got maybe like what one and a half bites and also when i uh eat and i'm either satisfied or full <laughs> my nose starts to run like literally i'll uh i'll start sneezing or i'll get a runny nose there bitch mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I fish it. I'm like trying to hurry for the camera too, so.
And then I have some leftover cheese. You know what I do? I just put that back in with the rest of the cheese. Oh, shit. I'm the only one eating anyway. Ain't nobody eating my food. Unless I sell it. Oh my god, dude. I literally just put you back on the flame. That's water. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys want to see me cook, let me know. If you want to see vlogs, let me know. If you want to see challenges, let me know. What do y'all want? What do you want? Sir or madam? <laughs>